It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Tuesday, November 17th, 2020. Number one, on the heels of a historic campaign and win, making a woman of color Senator Kamala Harris vice president-elect, many are now looking at the makeup of the Biden transition staff and beyond to a Biden administration. Among senior staff of the transition team, 41% are people of color and 53% are women. That diversity includes not only the promise of nominating a black woman for the next Supreme Court opening, but also also positions within the White House. Will a Biden administration continue to reflect the diversity of America? Number two, just one day before a hearing, Donald Trump's campaign withdrew a request in its lawsuit seeking to stop the certification of the election results in Pennsylvania, where Joe Biden beat Trump to win the White House. The campaign alleged that more than 600,000 mail-in and absentee ballots were processed without its representatives having access to watch. Meanwhile, judges in 18 other states where the Trump campaign has filed lawsuits are expressing their agitation with the unfounded, sometimes trivial arguments presented by Trump lawyers. Number three, in the race to fight the coronavirus pandemic, drug maker Moderna announced its vaccine is 94.5% effective against coronavirus. Moderna is the second vaccine in one week in the U.S. to tout a high success rate. Infectious disease expert Dr. Anthony Fauci calls news of the results truly outstanding, adding vaccinations could begin in the second half of December for high risk groups, including healthcare workers, the elderly, and those with underlying medical conditions. Number four, Tennessee based restaurant chain Cracker Barrel Old Country Store is apologizing to its customers for a noose like decoration found hanging from the ceiling at an East Windsor, Connecticut location. Representatives from the store said that a cord from the antique electric soldering iron should have been noticed and removed before ever being displayed. The antique iron was spotted by customers November 7th and posted photos and videos on social media of the item that had been displayed for years. Number five, streaming platforms take center stage in Goldman Sachs' latest music revenue report, which estimates it's going to more than double its $142 billion by 2030. The lockdown has accelerated the shift towards music streaming, and currently sales in this category are dominated by top R&B and hip-hop artists. The average price of a standard music streaming subscription has remained unchanged at $9.99 for the past decade, a number that's likely to change. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with Damon Williams as we discuss today's top headlines and more. And that's what you need to know. For more information, please go to SybilWilkes.com and sign up for my free newsletter. Be informed, be empowered.